Asian singles. And it's Li Zijia of Malaysia, the Asian champion, up against Shi Wu Chi, the 2018 World Championship silver medalist. Well, as far as the men's singles draw is concerned, uh, isn't this a wonderful sight? Eight names, eight different flags next to those eight names. Only the fourth time in the history of the Super Series and World Tour that the eight quarter finalists have been representing eight different nations. Happened at the Denmark Open in 2010, the Malaysian Open of 2018 and the Indonesian Masters earlier this year. But as you can see by a semi-final stage, there was only two seeds. They were both in the top half of the draw. So we were guaranteed an unseeded finalist, and that man is Shi Uchi. Well, as far as the race to Guangzhou is concerned, the top three will remain the same after this week in Denmark. The uh, Jonathan Christie uh, will uh, probably uh, go up. He will go up to number four. But Li Zijia, if he wins, will go up to number five. And if he uh, is beaten in today's final, he'll only go up one place to number six. Xi Chi is way off that list and has no chance of qualifying for the World Tour Finals. Last final, men's single. Presenting from Malaysia, Lee Xi Jia. of Malaysia. My goodness me, he's like a boxer coming into the arena. Good up. In his second. I beg your pardon, in his third final of the year. His second China. World Tour she final of 2022. Shi Uchi in his first final for over three years. It was back in 2019 when he won the Swiss Super 300 event, the last time that he worked out on finals day in an individual competition. It's only his third tournament of the year, having served a suspension by his own federation for withdrawing from a match when match point down. This will be a fourth meeting between the two players. Your choice. Black and of red. the previous three, Xi Chi has won two of them, but red it is. was Li Zijia who Service. won the last encounter, which was the quarterfinal of the Malaysian Masters two years ago. Three games, as you saw, in Kuala Lumpur. So, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, Steen, was it Li Zijia, uh, was it... Uh, it was Xi Chi who won the uh, coin toss. And he chose ends. On the side here, yep. Yep. Thank you, Steve. Well, Lucy Jarp is playing off his career high of three. It's his fourth consecutive week at number three Yesterday, in the world. The 24-year-old uh, from Alor Star in Kadar. Malaysia. Former All England champion won the All England title last year, beating Victor Axelson, who then was the defending champion in the final. Mark Kalyo in the first round, Sunyama in the second round. A repeat of the world of the Asian Championship final in the quarter final against Jonathan Christie, only match that went the full distance, and then beat the 2021 world champion, Lo Ken Yu, who had put out the defending champion. Victor Axelson in the quarterfinal stage. That was his semi-final. So to Shi Uchi, who is 26 years of age from Nantong in Jiangsu province. Down one place on the world rankings this week, 244. Has been as high as two. 52 weeks across three different spells, and this is his fourth Denmark Open and the first time he's been beyond the quarter-final stage. Had a walkover in the first round, the day of the match, Anna Zantensen, the winner here two years ago, decided to pull out, then beat Brian Yang, coming from 18-20 down, saving two game points in that opening game. 
quarterfinal against the beaten finalist from four years ago, Cho Tien Chen, had to save a game point in that opening game before winning it 25-23. And in the semi-final, three games against Kodai Naraoka of Japan, saved a match point in his semi-final at 20-21 down. So our court officials, Jakob Sinberg from Denmark and Lena Engel of Germany, the service judge. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Xi Yu Qi, China. And on my left, Li Xi Jia, Malaysia. Li Xi Jia to serve, level, play. So the men's singles final, the Asian champion, Li Xi Jia of Malaysia against the former world number two, Xi Qi of China. Service over. <laughs> One love. A backhand smash. She's a very physical player, Two, is Lucy Jia. Very strong athlete. He's got a very, very good attack. And because we haven't seen Xi Yu Qi for some considerable time, after his year's suspension and prior to that, there was the global pandemic. Just remind people, Steen, your thoughts on the qualities of Xi Yu Qi. Well, um... Just before the pandemic, his qualities weren't that fantastic, actually, uh, because he'd suffered an injury in Indonesia Open against Anas Anton, and he rolled his ankle. And it, um, it actually took, I think, a suspension to get um, get rid of it. But uh, before that, uh, well, he was the one challenging uh, Kento Momota in his yeah. heydays. He was basically the only one who could challenge the... Uh, Japanese player, um, real, real solid, patient uh, playing style, but but can tailor his uh, playing style. Of course, um, most of the top players can do that nowadays. Um, a really, really good touch. One of the things um, I remember from uh, from. Uh, that time is that he played. He was one of the first who played the net from a very low position, just uh, centimeters above the floor. He played it with um, accuracy. Three, oh. And it's good to see him back. Yeah, of course, both of these players, former All England champions, Xi and Chi. Title in only his second appearance at the Olympic. That was in 2018, beating Lin Dan, who was in his tenth final. Yeah. And it's gone wide. And we know from the women's singles that it's um, very difficult to play this near side of the court here. You have to be really, really disciplined. And there's a lot of um, choices that are simply um, no go. Six, 
three. These players, as we look at him for Wajaya, the Malaysian's personal coach. Neither of these players have ever won a Super 750 title. That's gone wrong. I think it's interesting, though, Steen. Oh, we've got a challenge here from Shu Chi. I don't think he'll win that challenge. I think it's interesting that two of the Asian players that came here early, Li Su Jia, one of them, Lo Ken Yu, the other, both came to Denmark a week early to train and practice, and they've both done well in this tournament. Yeah, but, uh, I think they've uh, acclimatized well. Yeah. And um, it's not um, that long ago since I discussed with um, someone in uh, in Danish badminton back in uh, back in the days when I was coaching we left for Asia on Saturday arrived on on Sunday and played uh, either Tuesday or Wednesday and the um, depth in the tournaments back then were not nearly as strong as they are now so you could easily have uh, a first round that you could get by with a bit of jet lag in yeah. the body, maybe even a second round in in some categories. That is not the case these days. Yeah. You run the risk of um, not surviving the early stages if you uh, arrive too late. And I know Six, that um, nine. the match with Shrikant in the first round match, uh, I forgot who we played. I think he played in Kalong. That got moved a couple of uh, hours because the Indians had only arrived late on Sunday night. But they had visa problems, haven't they? Yeah, I, I don't know the reason for it. Yeah. I just know they arrived late on Sunday night and were to play Tuesday. Mm. That you, you don't get rid of jet lag no. that fast. No. Oh, beautiful Touch. block. Missed it. Right. Well, I saw that. It's just wide. Yeah. So. Yeah. In line with it. Yeah, it is definitely wide. So that's a wasted challenge from me. Unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Eight, 
has gone out as well. Back level. Shiu Chi. Awful service to China. Could end up in a situation where the near side here in this match actually is the preferred side because with the help of the drift the defense of the player playing the far side might not hold up that's a great smash from easy job and it's a two-point advantage at the mid-game interval that was sheer power and pace that beat Shi Yu Chi Yeah, he's got to be careful. We see Jard that he also focuses on placement of his attacking shots because that was into the hitting zone of Xi Yu Chi. Yeah. Can't always hit to and win the point with just pace of shot. Placement is really more important. More left. Twelve, ten. Good shot. Beautiful recovery shot from uh, Shi Yu Chi. Eleven, twelve. So much pace that you can't really do anything. Yeah, gave his opponent the thumbs up. That's nice from Lee. Just wide. Super play. Got Lucy Jar out of position. Playing him deep into the forehand corner, having played him backhand net. This is the one that did the damage. You can see here. The body. It's not um, what he likes. Uh, Lucy Jar being played. First one side, then the other. Quick uh, turns of the body. Good defense. 
Uh, he hasn't really got his touch at the net at the moment. Chi Chi, has he? That's uh, at least two. And I th suspect it's more than that. Errors on net shots when he appeared to be in good balance. Here it is. Well, he's perhaps uh, giving in a little bit extra, trying to go as close as possible. Make sure he gets the advantage and then accept that a couple will stay on his own side. Lee Shijia to play back at him at the net. 15, 14. who's beginning to command the rallies, don't you think? I think he's done for a while. <laughs> and again, playing first one side, then the other side, always making uh, Lee Shijia twist and turn. First time in this final, Shi Yu Chi has had as much as a two-point advantage. Sixteen, fourteen. Yeah, That's brilliant. Good. We simply can't give that much time away on his lifts, uh, Li Shijia. The only uh, case that we discussed in the women's singles that just because you can play the back line doesn't necessarily mean you should play uh, as passive as we see. This is a battle for the net. Oh, that's why. Yeah, that definitely needs a challenge. And it is that right now, then Li Shijia is in trouble on the presumably good side, even though we've sort of have an idea that it might not be just as good as people think. Correction. Out. Service over. Yeah. 15, 17. Wait. Oh, almost got knocked over by that <laughs> yeah. power of that smash. And then the caterpillar dive. So how does a caterpillar dive like vary that. from an ordinary dive? <laughs> <laughs> it moves like that normally. Oh, we've got the Aaron Char scorpion shot. Exactly. We've got the Lee Jar backhand smash with full pirouette. 
15. Yeah, and we also got the pure defense from uh, uh, Gideon. Gideon's we did uh, earlier pure today, defense. yeah. A flat game. Now it's landing in. That's perfect. He's controlled the drift beautifully, uh, Shi Yuchi. Yeah. And uh, right 19. now that makes him the favorite in this match. Fabulous shot. Two points away from the opening game, Shi Yuchi. And again, takes the initiative and gets his just rewards. 15, game point, 15. Five game point opportunities. Ten of the last 13 points. Oh. It's going wide. And long. Sixteen, twenty. Oh, what a good shot from Lisa Jar. That little hold and push was played to perfection. Seventeen, twenty. points have come and gone but another two remain 20. for Xi Yuqi that wasn't even close it's going wide opening game to Xi Yuqi of China, 21-18. First game won by Xi Yuqi, 21-18. 22 minutes for the opening game. This is how it ended. Wipe the court.
second game. Level play. So she Chi one game to the good. 21-18 that opening game against CCHR. So Steam what does the Malaysian got to do here? He's playing with the drift. Yeah, he's playing with the drift, so he's got to get on the attack. And that means that he's got to be um, sort of um, relentless in yep. his uh, attempt to uh, win the initiative. Take a new one. There is no choice but to try and get high on the net. Uh, work really hard if he's... Um, Lifted flat to the back court, but he's got the shots to uh, be dangerous because he can play these quick steep smashes. That's not good. Oh, he's lucky. And um, I think in the service situation, if he can inject a certain amount of pace in the shots that he uh, plays either as the second or the third shot. Then it's more difficult for uh, Shiuchi to play with accuracy. If um, Shiuchi gets in and controls the rallies, then he might be in for a tough time. Well, this is a very good start to the second game by yeah. she, by BC uh, Char. No. And it's it's this thing with sometimes it helps playing with restrictions, which is pretty much what he does. Uh, that he basically can't lift or clear. So it, it, there's not so many choices. Five, love. Block from Shinu Chi got the net board. Very animated Indra Wajaya. If you're late, if you're late on the far side of the court, you have difficulties. Getting the uh, right One. quality of your shots. So playing up against the drift. She hasn't gotten to any of Yishi Jar's attacking shots in the second game. It's gone on. Well, yesterday in his semi final scene, I was calling the match against Kodai Naraoka, and he won a, a reasonably tough opening game, 21 15, uh, and then uh, almost gave up fairly early on in the yeah. second game. Yeah. Lost it to nine, but was very strong for the decider. Yeah. Not, not that surprising. Again, we have this issue when you play where there's one good side and one uh, side that's worse. Then um, you have to work really, really hard on the uh, bad side to uh, be competitive. And if you got one game in the back, well, the chances are that you uh, work really, really hard but still lose the game and have spent too much energy for the third game. Yes, it. I'm wrong. Yeah. And if he's got to lift Lisa Jar here, Three, he's got to lift eight. way, way high. 
So the timing becomes an issue for uh, Shiyuchi. It's wild that there's been so much uh, drift here because there's no, I mean, just wide. It's exchange of air, but there's no air conditioning as such on. Yeah. It's uh, 13, 14 degrees outside. There's the high clip. That is tricky. We've seen Xiu cheat master in the first game, especially from his forehand side, with his very, very short uh, hitting movement. And that's um, what you need to master when you have a chance. Going too soft pace now, Li Xijian. Missed it. Now, was that a caterpillar dive? Uh, half, half a caterpillar. Tired caterpillar drive, <laughs> I would say. <laughs> I still don't know the difference. been 10 years since a player from Malaysia won the Denmark Open and that of course was Lee Chong Wei second of his titles in 2012 beat a Chinese player in the final Ten, Du Peng Yu Shot. And he's not uh, Lishi Jan. He's not uh, Seven, taking the control in the beginning of the rallies anymore. And that means he uh, basically never gets it. Yeah, the Seven, line judge ten. who doubles up as the court attendant wasn't back in his seat. That's a great smash. And to the mid-game interval, the number four seed with a four-point advantage. Eleven seven to lead the Xinjiang.
11, 7. Play. Too loose with the block, wasn't he? Yeah, it was the service return that started it. Service fault called. Too high. Service over. Service fault called. Eight. Too high. Twelve. Come on, he's in sharp. Oh, that's well in. That's. Terrible misjudgment from Lee. Oh. Wrong choice. You, you think that you have a chance, but you really don't have a chance playing that recovery shot so high. You, you're just going to trail. The only thing you can hope for is a mistake from your opponent. And I mean, we're in the final. There's only going to be so many mistakes. You, you, you've got to take your chances with the um, flat, fast-paced shots. You've got to try and get an advantage in the service return here. 12. Difficult with the forehand return. Just one point in it now. He was seven point advantage at one stage, Lisi Jart, in this second game. Oh, 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 oh. 13 11. Chi. Yeah, but it's still a worrying sign if you're a Malaysian fan, isn't it? Yeah. It's a couple of mistimed overheads from Lee Jar since the mid-game interval here of the second game. The advantage that he got in the first part of the game is gone. Yeah. Gotta go. That's not good enough. Oh, swelling. Remarkable retrieving from Lisi Sharp. Longest rally so far at 26 shots, Dean. That's nothing. No. Well, that's because it's possible to score here. Well, that's a gift for the Malaysian. Yeah, it was. 15, 12. He's got to be super ready. Both players have to be, but I mean, right now it's Lisi Jha who's down with one game. But if he got, needs to come back here, he's got to be super ready in the service situation. Oh, it's Paul Birds. He's challenging. First challenge of this second game. Hello. 
Yeah, clearly. In. Yeah, a good run of points. Challenge. Following that rally where he fought so well, um, Li Xijia, he was in all kinds of trouble, but he fought 16, himself to a point. 12. Then got the gift on the, immediately after. Well, it's looking very much as if we could be treated to a deciding game. Yeah, this is... Um, the gloves have come off. And they're firing on every chance they have. Well, he's challenging again. Yeah. This time he's right. Good challenge. Oh, my goodness me. 13, 17. Wait. I think I would have made the same line call had I been on the chair. Yeah. And passive service return. Much better. Points away from taking this second game. 19, 14. That's gone long. Service over. 15, 19. Point opportunities for Lee Sijar to level this men's singles final at one game apiece. pressure on this near side of the court here you basically have a choice between two shots the most unlikely and the second most unlikely you should play one of those and hope that um, you have a good day because then you're still back in the rally otherwise it's going to be very very difficult Response from Lee C. Jar. Second game, signed by Lee C. Jar. 21 16. One game all. Umpire confirms the scoreline. Well, he got off to such oh, yeah. a good start in this second game. Lee C. Jar. 
racing to that 8-1 lead. And it was always a tall order from that deficit for Xi and Qi. 44 minutes into the match, and it's one game all. So third and deciding game in our last final of the day here at the Denmark Open. Well, quite remarkably, Steen, I mean, we've been saying all week that it's more difficult to play from the near side of the court, but both players have had, have had more success from the near side of the court. Yeah, and I think it's because... They haven't, I mean, they've fallen into the trap of thinking I can, uh, I can uh, play uh, the full court here. You can't because then your opponent is going to attack you and your defense is not going to hold up. And I'm just thinking, I, I can remember when, um, when Indra Vijaya, when he played men's singles, he was an attacking player himself. And I can remember some matches where I've seen him play this attack, net spin, attack, net spin, attack, net spin, where the fight was... Love. for winning the net, getting the opponent to lift, and there was no turning back. And, and this is how it's going to be. Yeah. And then if you play the far side well, then once in a while, once maybe every fifth time you have the option, you play the back line. The rally. Oh, yes. Lovely play from Xi Chi. And there's going to be pressure on the service situation because getting the opponent off balance there is just super valuable. So basically you should treat both uh, parts of the court like the same, that you cannot play these uh, lifts because the chance of survival is just very, very slim. Ooh. Oi, oi, oi. He lost his footing. He lost his footing. My heart missed a beat there. I think he's all right. One, we were three. calling his match when he badly rolled his ankle. Yeah. Watch his left foot. Yeah. Ooh, that was close to going, wasn't it? Thankfully, he's all right. Two, three. I hope he's got a monster strapping on that left foot. Shinichi. has gone wrong. Yes, because it was indeed the left ankle that he had to have surgery on 
following that horrible, horrible injury at the Indonesian Open of 2019. Yeah. And that play there, and he, uh, it, it was not, not a bad shot from um, Lisa Jump. She just played an even better. Yes, and he was lacking that touch at the net in the early stages of the match, wasn't he? That was lovely. Six, two. Retrieving from Lucy Jart. <laughs> yeah, good tumble net shot from the Malaysian. Beautiful movement, smooth, fluent movement. Here comes the choice that's not good enough. That's normally good enough in a normal match. And especially if the shuttles are slow, it's just not good enough here. He has to play back at the net. Seven, three. Called. Eight, five. That's his second service fault. Good defence in the early stages of that rally. By uh, Xiu Chi. Oh, that was going out. Wait, that's a beauty. 
Well, I don't think she, she needed to have played that final smash. That's a beautiful block from Lucy Shaw, wasn't it? Defensive shot. This is the one. I thought that was going out. I'm even more convinced now. But he played the winner anyway. It's good placement, isn't it? Yeah. He's made Lucy Sharp twist and turn throughout also, the entirety of the match. And also the belief in own ability to get to the next one again. He was ready to play the next shot from the net. He was ready to play more smashes. Yeah. Definitely uh, advantage she at the moment. I would normally say, would normally say in a normal match, 11-8 or 11-7 would be good but against Lisi Jar. When he gets on the roll, that's difficult. Oh, that's a good follow-up from Shi Uchi. And it is an 11-5 lead, a six-point advantage here in this deciding game to the unseeded Shi Uchi. only had one unseeded winner in the men's singles since 2007 and that was six years ago Tanon Saksun San Bunsa 20 seconds 20 seconds that was an extraordinary win for him wasn't it it was it was just when um, the king of Thailand had passed away and he had a picture that's right thank you podium so, the moment of truth. 11, 5, play. on the forehand service return. Notice that. <laughs> oh, that's another great shot from Shi Yu Chi. 13, 5. Good body attack. Hasn't played many of those this match, but that was the perfect time to do so. It's going long. Well, it's a dire situation now for the Malaysian. Nine-point advantage to Shi Yu Chi. Oh, well, take that. Six, 14. That's a fantastic block. 15-6. Well, if Shi Chi goes on to win this, 16, apart six. from the four world titles won by Victor Axelsson so far this year, the other 12 titles will go to 12 different men's singles players. Yeah. 
That's extraordinary, isn't it? But it's a good sign it of the men's sign. singles at the moment where Victor has been the dominant figure. Yeah. And then you can't really tell who is number two. Yeah. And you can't really tell if Victor isn't either playing a tournament or on the very rare occasions he loses, you can't tell who's going to win. It's, no. It's a... But I think we're going to hear more of uh, Shiyuchi because yeah. uh, he's been playing well. Yeah. And uh, this will further boost his uh, confidence. stayed his side. Could maybe even boost Homota's confidence. That it's... There's a player showing that it's possible to get back from playing not so good. Yeah. The injury. Good point. It's not over yet. No. Good play. Yeah, nice. That was all about placement and angle yeah. rather than going for power. I think he's been so far behind DC John that he's become a little bit loose and uh, loosened up. Long. Three points Ten. away from his first title in over three years. Shiyuchi. Oh, my oh, goodness, yeah. that is wild. Two tantalizing points Ten. needed to complete the comeback. Fantastic net game there. Eleven nineteen. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Yep. Now it's Lee Sin Sharp using the body attack. It's match point opportunities for Shiyu Chi after a year in the wilderness on the verge of victory. He's done it. Emotional. Chi Yu Chi. It's been a long, long wait. We've missed him in World Babington. C come back complete. Chi Yu Chi, the former World, world Number Chi Two, Chi. 21, takes 18, the Denmark Open 16, title. 21, 21, Umpire just confirming that scoreline an hour and four minutes for the victory. Well, seven years since the player from China won the men's singles. 
That was Chen Long when he won his fourth Denmark Open title. But today belongs to Shi Yu Chi. Look at the delight at winning his first title in over three years. It's a fantastic feeling he's got inside him now because when players are injured, they always doubt whether can I ever get back to this level again. Yeah. His first ever Super 750 title while in his second 750 final. French Open four years ago was his first 750 final. It's been a long wait, but the wait was worthwhile. His third final of the year, Lee Si Jia. And the first time in 2022 he's had to settle for second best. 2118, 16, 21, 21, 12, from China, Xi Yi Yi. Xi Wu Qi. On top of the podium once more after a three year wait. The medals presented by the BWF president, Paul Eric Hoya. Former champion here himself, three time winner, 1993, 94, and 95. <laughs> An eighth career title for Xi Yu Chi. And the city gifts and flowers are presented by Mayor of Ulsa City, Peter Ravik Yul. just hasn't got enough hands to hold all the booty. What a lovely smile. What a pleasure to see Xi Yu Chi back on the world stage and playing well once more.
Shiuchi, congratulations on the title here in Denmark. Yesterday we also took the interview in English, so I think if you are up for it, let's try. I know the audience would like that. First of all, you seem very emotional after you won this game. It has been quite a year for you, been out for a long time, and now you're back with a title. How does that make you feel? Uh, uh, first, I'm so excited to get this title uh, one year ago. And now I'm back to, to this first title. Uh, when the match finished, I feel that the tears we will drop. Well And uh, thanks a lot. Thanks my teammate, my family, and my coach, and all the fans. Thank you. Beautifully said. That was indeed a very impressive. Uh, she achieved this final against Li Shijia. Was what the key for you? What, what did you find of, of a tactic to win this game? Uh, 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 is the uh, very greatest uh, player. Uh, I think I, the important thing is patience. And uh, he has a good defense. And I must do every detail in the court so I can win the match. <laughs> Yes, he's tired. And he really does have very good English. I think that's, uh, that's it for this time. And even though I know the most of the audience would love another winner, I think it's a huge applause for you, Shiyuki. Congratulations on the title. Yes, and congratulations on a wonderful interview as well. What a finals day it's been. It all started at 12 noon and it was an eighth title of the year for the reigning and three-time world champions Shi, uh, Cheng Shiwei and Huang Yaxiong. But they needed three games to beat uh, the scratch pairing of their teammates. 21-19 in the deciding game. Then Chen Ching Cheng and Jia Yifan won their sixth title of the year when competing in their sixth final of the year. They haven't lost a final all year. That's quite remarkable. They're beating Baek Ha Na and Lee So Hee in two straight games. Then there was an extraordinary men's doubles, the All Indonesian Affair, a fourth title of the year in their eighth final for Alfian and Ardianto, coming from 11 17 down in the opening game to win 10 of 12 points and then save six game points in the second game before winning it 28-26. It was a wonderful women's singles final with Herbing Jiao winning her third title of the year and for a third final of the year beating the Olympic champion Chen Ufei. So uh, that was three games as well, 21-10 in the deciding game. And Shi Yuqi in our last final of the day winning his first title in over three years, beating the Asian champion, Li Sijia of Malaysia, 21-12 in the deciding game. Well, the World Tour moves on next week to the French Open. And uh, the French Open is also a 7.50 event. Coverage starts from Thursday next week. Both Steen and I will be in Paris. We very much hope you'll be able to join us. In the meantime, from both of us, bye for now.